Hi everyone, this is Mr. H, and this video is to answer the question about how can we find the point, or actually it's points, where the electric potential difference is zero when we're given two point charges. So in the textbook I'm working from, it's page 314, numbers 46, and it asks this question. Point charges of point of plus 8 microcoulombs and negative 5 microcoulombs, respectively, are placed 10 centimeters apart in a vacuum. At what location along the line through them will the electric potential difference be zero? Well, the first thing we want to note here is that the uh, what we're given is uh, a few different things. We know that Q1 is uh, plus 8 coulombs, microcoulombs rather, and Q2 is negative 5 microcoulombs, and R is 10 centimeters. Now, I'm going to keep these things in terms of microcoulombs and in terms of centimeters because when we rearrange these equations for what we're trying to solve, the units are going to cancel out. So we actually do not need to put these in SI units, as we'll see, because they will uh, be divided by the same thing on the top and bottom. So we're going to be OK. So the first thing to note here is if we have a positive 8 microcoulomb charge and we have a negative 5 microcoulomb charge, uh, there's going to be somewhere that's closer to the negative 5 microcoulomb charge where the um, electric potential is going to be 0. And it's going to be, if we label this as x, then this here would be uh, 10 minus x, that distance. So that's one situation that we're going to see. But another situation or scenario that we're going to see is this one. Because uh, if we have, this is q1 over here, this is q2. So if we have q1, again, over here of plus 8 microcoulombs, and we have q2 over here, of negative 5 microcoulombs, there's going to be another point way out here where because the 5 or negative 5 microcoulomb is weaker than the positive 8 one, some distance away from Q2 is going to be a point again where the electric potential is 0. And so we're going to define this a little differently. We're going to define this as x, and we're going to define, or why don't we define it as y just so we don't mix it up with the other one. So we'll define it as y. And we'll define this distance right here, obviously, is going to be uh, 10 centimeters. And so that means that the distance out all the way to that point is going to be y plus 10. So we've got these different things defined for us, and that's going to allow us to set some things up. Now, we want to find these two positions where the total, uh, the total electric potential difference is 0. Now remember what total electric potential difference is. So we've got our given. What we're required to find is uh, where Vt equals zero, equals zero. And we know, based on the analysis, that this is what we've set up. And then we can say, well, I also know that my electric potential is K times Q t divided by R. And so because the total voltage is, the total electric potential difference is one plus the other one, what we can do, and because we, we're saying that's equal to zero, we can go ahead and solve this in the first case and solve it in the second case. So let's see. <clears throat> in this case, uh, V total is V1 plus V2. So V1 is going to be K times Q1 divided by R1 plus k times q2 divided by r2, and that's equal to 0. So this is where, uh, in the textbook, they get these uh, these signs from. This is a better way to come at it than I think the textbook does, because it actually shows you where this is coming from. So we know right away that the k's are going to be able to be factored out, and we can cancel it out, because 0 divided by k is still 0. And we can rewrite the r values, r1 and r2, in terms of uh, these variables. R1 in this case is going to be, sorry about that, R1 is going to be x. So this is going to become Q1 over x. And then this is going to become Q2. And R2 is 10 minus x. This is R1 here. And this is R2, 10 minus x. And so it's a matter now of rearranging that and trying to solve for x. The first thing I want to do is I want to uh, bring this across the other side. So I'm going to get this Q1 
over x equals negative q2 over 10 minus x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply, I'm going to cross multiply here. I'm going to keep the negative out front. So I'm going to get uh, q1, q1 times 10 minus x is equal to negative q2 times x. Now if I expand this out, what I'm going to get is 10 times q1 minus uh, q1x is equal to negative q2x. And then it's just a matter of putting the x terms together. So to get those two together, I'm going to add q1x to both sides. So I'm going to get 10 times q1 is equal to q1x minus q2x. Now I'm going to common factor out the x, q1 minus q2, and 10 times q1. And if I divide both sides by q1 minus q2, what I arrive at is this. So x is equal to that. Well, what are my charges? Well, my charges were 8 microcoulombs. And q1 again, 8 microcoulombs minus negative 5 microcoulombs, which means we're actually going to add those together. That's going to become 13 microcoulombs on the bottom. And so we're going to get, uh, we're going to get 80 microcoulombs divided by 13.0, 80.0 .0 microcoulombs divided by 13.0 microcoulombs. And that gives me an x value of 6.15 and the units there are going to be units. Remember, this is 10. I should have added this here. This is 10 centimeters right there. So we should add that there. So it's uh, it's uh, times centimeters. So we have centimeters in the numerator. And this gives us an answer of x in centimeters. So if we go back up to my picture here, I know that this is going to be 6.15 centimeters, which means that this other value is 10 minus 6.15 or 3.85 centimeters. And so that's the first scenario that we deal with. Now let's set up the second scenario and then I'll do the calculation and you can check your answer when you're done. So the second scenario, same thing, v1 plus v2 equals 0, where v1 is kq1 over r1, v2 is kq2 over r2. And again the k's are going to cancel out because you can factor it out, divide by 0, 0 divided by that is still 0. And then r1 in this case, is the distance from q1 all the way to this point. So r1 is going to be y plus 10. And from q2 to that potential electric potential difference of 0 is going to be just y. So go ahead and do the same process that you did earlier and see what answer you get in this case. And you can check when you're done. Now, as you work through that, the one thing you need to make sure you, do, you don't forget is that there's a negative here um, on the negative Q1. If you drop that negative, what this answer would give you is 3.85, which would be 10 minus the answer you got previously for X. So make sure you keep that negative there all the way through. And as you do that, what you end up having is you end up getting a negative in the top, but then you get negative Q1 minus Q2 in the bottom, which gives you negative 8 plus 5 microcoulombs which gives you negative 3 microcoulombs. Negative divided by negative gives you a positive number. So we get 16.7 centimeters as your y value. So if we go back up here, that means that this distance here is 16.7 centimeters, meaning that this distance here is 26.7 centimeters. Now, if you're using the textbook uh, that I used for this question, what you'll notice is that the textbook actually gives you an answer uh, in they, they set it up a little differently, but they give you an answer in this case that's actually um, closer to Q2 than it is in the second case. And the textbook's actually wrong. They haven't set it up properly to figure that out. And so what you should find, their numbers are a bit different because the charges were a bit different, but you should find that this difference, this distance here, must be larger than either one of the distances inside. And that's because you have to get a long way from this charge for uh, them both to have an effect on you that makes the potential difference zero. So you should get a bigger number here uh, and a smaller number in the middle there overall in general. Um, and that's how you would do it.
Okay, so hopefully that helps and that allows you to help you out with uh, questions like page 315, number 56 and other questions.